And what are you studying in English? Enjoying the books you're reading? Yeah. What do you enjoy about them? Um, they're just super. They're super. You don't know what's going to happen, and it's like fascinating. And it. Um, it's quite good. I'm not really an English fan, but it is quite good. We've been reading um, a poem called Knots and Crosses about like the race between white, like, and black people. And it's quite good. Uh, well, I'm Mrs Patterson. I work in the library in Bowness Academy and it's a great job. I've been here five years and it'll be wonderful when you get to come and see all we've got. We have quite a big library here. But I've got a very special friend with me. This is Bob. So Bob, Bob is in the library a lot. He loves to do adventures and recommend books. So he's very busy with that. It's absolutely great to get to meet everybody and find out what books they love and if they don't love books, to help them to find a book that they will love. In English, we are currently reading Welcome to Nokia by Elizabeth Laird. It is about a boy called Omar who is forced to move to Dara because his dad got a new job there. Uh, so I'm reading the Armatus Runner by Tom Palmer. Dog by Tom Palmer. Good. And you're going to meet Tom Palmer later on in the year as well. Is that quite exciting? Have you met an author before? French and Spanish as well. So what do you do in French? We do, we learn about numbers. We done stuff about school and subjects, and that's mostly it. And in Spanish, we done we learn in numbers, then out in months. French is quite good. I'm not really a Spanish person, but they're quite similar. Um, we've been learning numbers and playing quite a lot of games. What kind of games do you play? Um, we play quite a lot of like, games that involve the numbers, quite like the splatting games and this turtle game, I have no idea what it's about. I can say a few words in there, but like know a lot. Probably more than me, so you're doing well. Well, what words can you say? Um, I can say bonjour, moi, uno, gracias. We've been doing like day, um, 
months of the year and numbers and sounds. Cool, and what about in French? school subjects. And they're kind of hard to write, um, so if we don't understand it, we're just to write it in English. But we try our best to like, write it in French or Spanish. It's really interesting to learn another language because it's like you're learning how other people speak and how to understand it. It's just really interesting, so that kind of thing. And what kind of things do you do to learn the language? How do so you do um, we'll do like, um, with my French teacher, we'll do like little games because when you're playing a game you don't realise it but it's kind of just sticking in your brain as you're playing the game um, or we'll do like little like starters at the start as well to recap on the last one Arts faculty.
like about art is the fact that I can use different materials and I get to use at home, like charcoal and watercolours and just stuff rather than like just drawing with a pencil the entire time. Um, and I like that we can just make like big paintings that just express how we feel and stuff. I like about art and design is the fact that even if you don't feel like you're the best at art, you will learn and you will get better over time with help from your teacher. My name is Mr. Atanasi, I'm the Faculty Head of Health and Wellbeing. Welcome to our faculty. Hi there, I'm Mr Vinny and I work as a PE teacher at Boris Academy and Black Edge Paper School. I'm a PE teacher here at 
Women's Academy and I also teach at the New Primary School. Mrs. Moyer. Miss Flanagan. Mrs. McGregor. Miss McNair. Mr. Forsham. Mrs. Drackford. They're all really great. My teacher is funny, kind and helpful. My teacher is kind, helpful, she's not boring and she's really funny and she helps you when you need it. My last teacher is kind, caring, not boring and enthusiastic. My teacher is kind, helpful, enthusiastic and really keen. In S1 you will learn whole numbers, integers, decimals and angles, time, stats, algebra and fractions, volume, equations, speed, distance and time and symmetry, measurements, length, area and percentage, coordinates, circles, money and ratio. Here's some of the stuff that you could be doing in maths. 
Can't wait to see you in the maths department. In the meantime, take a watch of this video that some of our first years made for you. Then we are going to maths. Maths is located on the middle floor from room 104 to 109. We are now heading to our class in room 105. Our teacher is Miss Flanagan. At the moment we're revising angles. Come have a look. How to name them, measure them, how to name them, measure them, and draw them. This is only our second week in S1, though. But so far we've covered negative numbers, angles, and broad math. Next, we'll be tackling decimals. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing math. As you can see from our jotters, we do a lot of work. At the moment, we are making booklets to remind us of the rules for angles. Thank you for looking in our class. I'll we'll be looking forward to you joining me academy. Hi there, my name is Missy Scherzer and I'm the pastoral head for Avon House. My role in the school involves supporting pupils throughout their journey at Bonus Academy. I also have responsibility for the PSE programme within the school and you can expect to have PSE one period per week. Typically, you'll be taught PSE by your pastoral head, who will also support you in things such as your settling in interview, as well as course choice. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Weatherstone and I'm the fourth house pastoral head for S1, 2 and 6. You'll expect to see me in your PSE lessons, setting in interviews, and check-in conversations. This support also continues into S2. However, within S6, it's my responsibility to support you in decisions about your future career and support you in making it to that positive destination. 
Can't wait to see you all soon. Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Patterson and I am the pastoral head for 4th House for S345. Just like to tell you a little bit about your settling in interviews in first year where you'll get to meet your pastoral head. What we'll do is we'll sit down, we'll have a conversation about what you're enjoying, what classes you're liking and if there's any challenges or things that you want to discuss so that we can help support you. Hello everyone, I'm Mr McAllister, the pastoral head for King Glass House. There's many different ways that the pastoral team will support your young people while they're at school. However, I'm going to focus today on one of the main ones, which is ensuring that when they leave school, they'll find a positive destination, whether that be employment, friendships, college, universities or training programmes. As my searcher said in our previous part of the video, there will be PSE inserts and one of those will be from Skills Development Scotland, who are working towards and helping the young people decide what they want to do with their future careers. Each pupil will also have an individual meeting with their pastoral head that will also parents and carers will be invited to to discuss what options and subjects they should be doing to make sure that they have the right subjects and qualifications they need for their future career. Pupils should also sign up for the My World of Work website because it helps them find out all the different jobs that are available and what qualifications you'll need for each of those jobs. Hi everyone, I'm PC McKinnon, I'm the school-based police officer here at Bowness Academy. You can find me in room 154, which is on the first floor, just across from the library. Look forward to meeting you all soon. Welcome to the Pupil Support Department. You'll find the Pupils in classrooms on the middle floor. The Pupil Support Team will help you with your learning, carry out assessments, attend meetings and support with your well-being. Here we have room 158. Here we have room 158, which is a Pupil Support Team. Some people, certain people might use this room instead of going to the main school classes. Small group for or for a quieter space. Room 156, where we offer small group literacy and numeracy. And in room 153 is the room we use for alternative assessments arrangements. This room is also used for a quiet space that is able to be free to lunch. based on this corridor too. So if you see him, say hello. So welcome to the room 103 where we will introduce you to our people support team. If you need support or help, you are always welcome. Our people support teachers know our pupils very well. People support staff are always a resident day.
enjoyed learning about democracies and dictatorships. I love learning about history because it's so interesting to learn how people used to live. I love learning about geography because it's very interesting about hear, hearing and seeing how the world works. The teachers are really nice. I love all of the social subjects but my favourite is history because we get to learn about the knights and the, and the ancient and the battles they fought. I will learn about history and about medieval Scotland because I find it very interesting about all the facts in history. Welcome to the business education department. In business we learn about famous entrepreneurs who have started up their own business and the skills and qualities you would need to run your own business. We develop our knowledge about setting up in a business as a sole trader or a partnership and how to gain finance support when starting up our own business. One of the areas that is interesting is learning about different types of decisions that entrepreneurs have to make, particularly how to market your product, sell, selling it in the correct place, choosing the right price and make sure that you advertise your product correctly. In business, we develop digital literacy skills as we get the opportunity to use the computers to research information on companies and present our work in different ways, such as using Desktop Publisher and PowerPoint. Welcome to Computer Science. Here we learn how to write code using Python and SQL, how to design and create websites. We learn all about databases, how to use them, create them and edit them. We also have CD lessons where we learn all about computer systems. Welcome to craft design, design and engineering and graphics. We learn about how to make products from wood, metals and plastics. We are learning about design sketching so that we can represent the products we are designing so that they can be understood by clients. We learn about how to design products that are sustainable and suitable for the people who are going to use them. We learn industry 3D modeling software to create models of everyday objects and create photorealistic images of them. We learn about desktop publishing so that we can create effective layouts, not just in craft design, engineering and graphics, but in all of our lessons. In School of Technology and Engineering, we learn about aspects of engineering, how bridges are designed and constructed, and how products work, their inputs, processes and outputs.
Seven. My name is Mrs Jones and I'm one of the science teachers at Bonus Academy. Although when you come into S1 I would teach you chemistry, biology and physics, you might be able to tell what my specialist subject is considering that I am sitting in my garden right now. My favourite thing to teach is biology. I love all things life, I love to know how the body works and I look forward to teaching some of you about that when you come up. See you soon. <laughs> Right, what's the abundance of a dandelion then? Class? Go. Hi, Primary Sevens. My name is Mrs Clark and I'm one of the physics teachers at the Academy. I really enjoy teaching electricity when I'm teaching physics, but in first and second year, my favourite topics are the biology ones. Hope to see you all soon. Hi, I'm Mrs Wilson and I teach biology at the Academy. I absolutely love biology as it's such an exciting practical science that explores living things including humans, animals, plants and even microorganisms. Biology allows us to gain an in-depth understanding of life on planet Earth, how they function and how they rely on one another to survive. I'm really excited to welcome you to the Academy and I look forward to sharing this knowledge with you all in S1 Science. Hi Liam. So up in science this year at the academy, what sorts of things do we learn about? Um, in science we will be learning about biology, physics and chemistry. Okay, and what is the topic that you have done first in your class? Um, I've been doing biology. Okay, and what's that been about? What have we been learning about? Um, we've been learning about the environment and Perfect, well done. And what about in chemistry and physics? What have your friends been getting up to? Um, we've been doing experiments and uh, we've learned about the theory of the people in chemistry. Okay, and what have we been doing in physics? And um, we've been learning about light and force. Okay, light and forces. And which one do you think you are going to look forward to doing next? Because you've done biology, so chemistry or physics? Chemistry. Super. Okay, thanks very much. Bye. Okay, what's the abundance of clover? Twenty-five. I think twenty-five Clovers. clover in all of the twenty-five boxes. And what is our abundance of dandelion? Two. Two, because we've got two boxes. Hi Primary Sevens, my name's Mrs Hill and I'm one of the physics teachers here at the Academy. Uh, my absolute favourite thing to teach in physics and science is space and astronomy. So learning all about the planets, the solar system, stars and the universe. Uh, really looking forward to getting to meet some of you on the transition days and maybe be your teacher in S1. See you soon. Hi Ashley. Um, so in science this year, what types of skills have you been developing? The type of skills we have been doing is investigation, um, organisation and numerical skills. Okay, good. And if we were doing investigation skills, what kind of things have you been doing to help with your investigation skills? And what about our organisational skills? What things do you have to think about when you're working in a lab? Um, we have to think about our Good, so just looking at resources. And with our numeracy skills, how have we developing those in science? Because some people might think you just do that in maths. Um, by graphs and of text 
Hello, I'm Miss McQuillan. I'm Principal Teacher of Science at Bonus Academy. I'm also a chemistry teacher and in first year you'll learn more about this chart called the Periodic Table of Elements. Hi folks, my name is Mr McFarlane, I'm one of the physics teachers at the academy. My favourite thing to teach is forces because we learn all about how things move and also how to make things move even faster. I think the best thing about science is that we're constantly making new discoveries and making new inventions and I find that a really exciting part of the subject and I look forward to seeing you all really soon. And we're going to cycle through them. And the person with the most gold at the end of the eight minutes is the winner. We haven't started. <laughs> we can't possibly be winning when we haven't started. <laughs> right. Has anybody got any questions before we get going? Mark, have you got a wee question? Yeah. No? Okay, everybody ready? Hi, Primary 7. Uh, I'm Mr Ramsey and I teach biology at the academy. I'm really fascinated by all aspects of science and believe that Physicists, chemists and biologists are needed to answer all of the questions as to how we are here on this place in the universe. And that's where you come in guys, because when you come up next year, we're going to teach you all of the skills that you need to be able to ask the right questions and become effective researchers yourself. And maybe you are going to answer the questions that we don't already know. Looking forward to seeing you P P7.